things we get lots of questions about is about can a magnet erase a vhs tape we'll talk about the other types later but can it erase a vhs tape is one of the most common requests we're getting yes there are still people that have these around but there may be some things that they like to erase or start them off and get them clean again and so this is a standard tape and one of the things we're going to do is look at what kind of a magnet it takes to do it on the screen you can see this is an old movie that's been recorded in vhs and i'm about to take this out and let's do some erasing with it and try different magnets so i'll hit the button to let this erase and i'm going to start by seeing what happens with a one inch diameter half inch thick n50 disc magnet now if you notice with the tape heads you can see that you have a spool of tape on each end you also have a liter of tape that runs across here if you want to make sure you have erased the tape you will need to make sure that you run the magnet over this whole thing you'll want to come from the underside and roll it around this end and then roll it around this end what you're doing you'll feel the magnet attracting the magnet holes but what you're doing is making sure that you scramble all of the magnetic data on the tape if you use a small magnet you need to do it on both sides so let's see what this does for us when we put it back in and let it play now I, this is something that comes up all the time and some of the people that have used these magnets to do this have been uh, police departments they have forensic requirements when they're going to use any kind of videotape evidence they can only keep it for so long and then they have to completely erase the tape okay and so now we are seeing and this is telling us that we have no signal so that means it's not detecting any video coming out of this and if you fast forward through this to let it play you see we're getting no video now that doesn't mean every inch of footage and the tape has been completely erased little flickers might still be there but one of the things you'll want to do is really make sure you cover it now if you have a few tapes but one magnet works really well but a lot of times we get people that have a need for a, a much larger volume they'll tell us we've got a thousand of these tapes to erase let me show you what we use with that for those large volume requests we recommend something roughly like a two inch diameter one inch thick in 50 or two inch square one inch thick in 50. as you can see we've got another video playing here and it was recorded uh when that was first running so now we're going to eject this one and use this big tape and here's the reason why you would want a big tape is if you've got a lot of these to do you don't want to be doing the swirling all around you want to be able to do something just as quick as like this and down the leader edge that should be enough instead of having to go all over it let's see what happens with this one and this is one of the things that you really don't know until you look at it on the screen and put it back in how well did it erase it and we are getting no signal so it looks like that quick little pass over this did it if you've got a thousand of these to do the bigger magnet just allows you to do it faster what i've done before is i actually took one and i mounted a couple of these made them like bookends just the width of the videotape and they were able to slide them through just as fast as you could slide them through and it erased this customer had 10,000 they needed to erase they said they put a 55 gallon barrel on one side a trash barrel on one side and as fast as they could slide the tapes through they were clean so if you want to know what it takes to erase a large volume of vhs tapes the two inch diameter one inch thick n50 is the magnet for you or two inch square one inch thick n50 that one you can rub back and forth across you can just rub it back and forth one time and it erases the tape the smaller ones you need to go over the tape several times making sure you do it on the front and the back and swirl it because you've got to cover all of the tape with enough magnetic force to erase it so now you know if you've got just a few 30 40 50 of them to do you might want to just get a one inch diameter half inch thick in 50 disc if you've got lots of them to do you may want to use this two inch diameter one inch thick so looking to see which ones you need you just contact us we can help you get the right magnet for your job